Coach Irvin, obviously a big margin of victory tonight. Uh, what are you trying to get out of these games, even though the score wasn't that close? Well, the first half was really close. So we're just trying to get ready for playoffs um, and work on some of the things defensively that we're trying to work on and offensively get a flow. We got Janae Thompson just came back, so we're trying to get her back into the flow of playing. Now you have the city tournament before you start the state playoffs. What, what, what sort of momentum are you trying to build through the city tournament once you, before you go to state? I mean, our attitude right now, first, we, we just kind of had the mentality we just have one game left because obviously whatever we have left is a playoff. So we're just trying to get the playoff mentality um, through the city tournament and trying to kind of just build a legacy here. So just taking them one step at a time. Well, you've definitely been building a legacy, a lot of deep state runs. This year, the, the matchup with Bolingbrook, which has become a, a rite of passage here, is around earlier. Is, is that is that bothered you guys at all? Um, it doesn't. I think it's, you know, I, I think the IHSA was just kind of wrong for doing that. I know their intentions, because they said they were going to do it last year, was just to kind of break things up. But I think, you know, for basketball in the state, it would have been good for our sectional and their, you know, super sectional meet up in the championship game. But it is what it is. just to come out aggressive on defense and to stop them from driving because they were driving to the basket and trying to draw the fouls on us. So we really had to work on our defense and help off and everything. So what do you guys get out there and try and focus on in a game where the score is not that close? Um, we try to focus on things we need to work on for like the next game or for like our next big competition. We need to work on passing the ball to everybody, getting everybody a feel for the ball. And when the big game does come, everybody comes through. Well, the biggest of all games always seems to be you guys and Bolingbrook in the state tournament. It seems like you guys just play 30 times and whoever wins the most takes home state. Uh, is that obviously a game you guys have circled again this year? Um, we do look forward to the game, but that's not our main focus. Our main focus is getting there. Uh, playoffs is one game at a time. It's one game you lose, you're out. So it's one step at a time. The Nate seemed like you could have missed out there tonight. What, what, I mean, what, what went into this? Is this something you were feeling in warm-ups? Well, first, I mean, we played them last, a couple weeks ago, and it wasn't that tough, but they came out sticking me, Keon, and Shanice really hard. So this game, I came out, well, we came out with the intensity that we were going to play our game and not let them stop us. We had the um, warm-up. I was just focusing on my jump shot because I knew that they already knew a little bit of my game, so I tried to change it up a little bit and get the open shots and layups and finish with those. As an underclassman on this team, and obviously you have – you know, some stars, seniors. Uh, is, is you try to take a leadership role at all, or, or are you waiting for next year? Um, well, we already have a lot of scores on our team, so my focus sometimes is when they are hot. I try to just focus on rebounding, hustling the little things I can do to help the team. Kiana, the, the, the game was close in the first half. Uh, what, 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 what was going wrong there, and then what, what you know, what'd you change up? Um, what was going wrong was the fact that our defense wasn't as tight. Um, we allowed them to drive to the basket multiple times without stopping them. The help defense wasn't there, and the initial defense wasn't there. We were reaching, and in the second half, we knew the coach was going to get mad and she was going to just go off and tell us, stop reaching and help. So we just decided to stop reaching and help and just pressure the ball with our hands and move by, and moving our feet. And in the third quarter, we went on the run. Now you're a senior been part of this program for a long time and the playoffs are right around the corner uh, what, 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 what are your personal feelings uh, well I'm glad that we finished the year off undefeated because as you know we have two losses but that was in 2010 it's 2011 now like you said our senior year and we're trying to finish this year off undefeated